This is where we're turning off. This is the hill. It looks like we can get around it right here. And look at this. This is quintessential Jordan. It's beautiful. And it's all ours today. It looked to me on my Magellan, that's topographical map, said there's a stream down here. If we enter the woods in here, we should be able to bump into it. We're in gold country. Gold likes to rush down water, bump into an eddy, hit a log or a rock, and fall down and settle in the sediment. That's where I'm gonna dig. That doesn't look real appetizing. Doesn't look like there's any gold in there, but we're not even started yet. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and get rid of these big rocks, get them out of here, as many as I can. That's why gold is so labor intensive to get. There's so much to get out of it first. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start removing the sediment. What I'm trying to do is get to the gravelly rock so I can continue removing that out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can see black sand already. Black sand is iron oxide. It's hard to see this, but that sand right there is glittering with gold. Can you get a close up of that glitter? Can you bring it to me? <laughs> and focus right in about where my finger is. That's where, that's where it's glittering. I mean, look, look at that black sand. There's a ton of it here. That glitter in there is gold. And that's how it's done. And I'm gonna go work this some more. All right, we finished painting for gold. Now we're ready to find the cache. My GPS says it's on this hillside. So now, in the middle of an ocean of large oak trees, we have to find the cache. We're about seven, 800 feet from this thing, straight up that hill. And the clue was, the base of a large oak tree on the website. There's 400,000 oak trees on the side of this hill, and I have to find the cache in one of these oak trees. What the hell was I thinking? So now you're telling me you're gonna walk down the hill? Yeah, we gotta walk back down the hill. Okay, we gotta walk down, why? Because we have signal bounce in this GPS, so if you give me a minute, I'm gonna walk around. And... Well, leave your pack and I'll uh, wait here. All right. I'll guard your Thanks. You're the man. Tell me about it on your way up. I can't breathe. Otherwise, I would. This sucks. This is what makes geocaching fun, exciting. Now I have to come back, check my coordinates, re-enter them, and try it again because I know the sucker's right here. Ah, <laughs> there's, there's one of the mistakes right there. I punched the wrong coordinates in. We're within 379 feet that way. So now I turn around and go to it. We're going in the right direction. We've been up and down this hill all afternoon. I've rechecked my coordinates. I've punched them back into the GPS. I think I had a number twisted, and we're gonna go try it again. It's directing me right down this hill, about 100 feet. Let's go see if we can find it. It's time for me to stop and become a detective because it's not gonna bring me right to the cache. I have to look for it now. That's half the fun of geocaching. These here do not look like oak trees to me but there's a couple of large oak trees. There's, one over, there's two over here and there's one right here that I should probably start right here and look. Oh, oh, look, 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 here it is. Here it is, right here. This is what we searched all day for, this little Tupperware box. This, this trip is amazing because it's really not so much the cash that was the excitement for me today, although this is exciting. We paying for gold, we caught snakes in here today. We're out in a beautiful forest, a gem in the middle of Georgia. And this is what brought us here today. Now what I like to do with these caches, I like to take it out of its hole. I'm gonna walk up to my pack. I'm gonna sit it down, open it, and find out what's inside. I'm not digging, I'm dumping. I'm a dumper. Faith Hill. I think she's like the hottest thing on earth. Look at those eyes. I might take that with me. 
Would that be stealing? No, because we're gonna leave something. Don't you get how this works? Okay. Look, um, geocaching, you know, we take something, leave something. That's some of the fun about this. That way there'd be something here all the time. And besides, look, look, this is from geocaching.com. And these, they want to go all over the world. Normally I might take something like this, but today, faith wins out. Sorry, Sam and Barbara, you lose. Say bye. The geocaching gods will shine upon us and get us out of here if I close the lid and go put it back. Danny. <laughs> I got nothing. Way to go. Now what? We still gotta get the hell out of here. Danny, if, if, just remember one thing. If you're lost, always go downhill. But remember, we're going right back up another one when we get done with this one. It's always nice to have technology when you're out here in the wilderness, but you can't always depend on that. Now we gotta find our way out of here, and it's always a good idea to remember things around you and where you were and where you're going. We have to get out of here now, and I don't know where we are. What do you want to do? Well, I, I, I think I told you repeatedly about the whole battery problem. I mean, I had four batteries. I, know, I didn't know that two of them were already dead. I'm taking pictures. It's your responsibility to take care of the batteries. That's all you got to do. All I know is that we got to get out of here. Yeah, well, where's the, where's the truck? I don't know. We, we need to get going. The fun is over. We need to get to the truck. Let's, keep, let's just keep going downhill. All right, let's just keep going. Then. Regular Lewis and Clark, man.